Saturday the left. What's it? Left Sunday night. And now it's Tuesday morning. Oh, that took me a while. It was a long flight. But we just flew over Newport, where Nautilus is moored. And we're just final approach to, into Brisbane now. So I should be off the plane in about 10 minutes. Back in Australia. Check out where I am. Just got off the plane this morning. Pretty much just literally got changed, had a shower quick and drove here. Get to see my boat again. I'm gonna grab my stuff out and go and see how she's doing. You. A bit of context here. I bought Nautilus um, two years ago down at the Gold Coast. She's a 36 foot SNS sloop um, built in 1974. I'm a professional photographer. I take photos of snowboarding mostly, which involves being in the snow, cold, mountains, windy, lots of people. Great job, love it, dream job really. But having said that, being on the boat for a few months in summer, being hot, being in the water, that balances it out perfectly. And that, and that was the whole the whole idea behind this. Stoked. So good to be back. Last year, Oliver and I spent about a month fixing Nautilus up down the Gold Coast. We lifted her out of the water, cleaned the bottom, uh, painted it, did a few jobs here and there. Got her all ship shape. She had a brand new engine and various other new bits and pieces, but then there were parts of her that old and we had to replace. New, new mainsail, sailbag. Bought a dinghy, bought an engine, new mattresses. Basically just kitted her out with everything we needed. And then we set off and we ended up at the Wet Sundays in, in August. Um, a lot of challenges along the way. We'd never even anchored a boat before we left the marina. So we made a lot of mistakes, but we also learned a lot and we didn't come to any harm. We had a great time. Um, neither of us got seasick. We saw amazing places, met really cool people, swam with manta rays and had whales visit us and went out to the outer reef and just had a ball. I couldn't wait to get back to be honest. I gotta get back in water mode, think about tides and winds and things like that but look at this place. Ew! So good, can't, can't describe it. <coughs> Pretty tired right now, I haven't slept since uh, Sunday, I left it's left Zurich, it's, I was at the airport at 4 p.m. Sunday and now it's midday Tuesday, but I uh, had a shower. I slept a little bit on the flight from Singapore today, but pretty tired, but this has given me some energy. Back on board the Nautilus. Let's go and have a look how she looks downstairs. Hopefully everything's not mouldy and shitty. Let's check it out. The first sniff. Oh, it smells like boat, but it's definitely not mouldy or watery smelling. There's nothing going rotten. That's a good sign. I'm going to check it out, make sure there's no cuckalucks cruising around, but I left lots of traps as you can see, all over the floor. Cockroach baits. I left them everywhere. And can't see any cruising around. Left the hatch open with a dinghy above it, so there's a bit of airflow, that's probably why it's nice and fresh. Everything's looking pretty good. Have a quick look here. That radio still works. Still got 14 volts there on the both battery banks. Battery charger seems full. Most excellent. Still a couple of beers and some vodka in there. This is my bedroom back here. I might open up this hatch here. A little bit more air in here. So hot today too. Shit, it's like 
shorts and t-shirt, I'm still sweating. It's supposed to be winter here, but they haven't had winter yet. It's just been apparent like this all the time. Shit, my hair looks weird. I'm going to have to go back to the bandana pirate mode. Uh, well, I've paid rent here at the marina until the end of May, which is... What is it? It's the 17th today, I think? So I have pretty much two weeks to um, get everything ship -shaped. There's a few jobs on the boat. The dinghy's got a hole. Oh, I'll go up and have a look. The... Uh, the dinghy's got a hole in it, so that went flat. I've got to fix that. Um, there's probably a bit of sanding and painting and stuff like that I've got to do, but um, there's a bit of weed on the bottom, so I'll probably take it out one day over to the other side of the bay where the water's clean, and I'll dive on it and clean all the clean all the algae and stuff off. Um, here you can see the dinghy. She's gone a bit flat, but everything else looks all right. All the sails and everything look good, I mean, should be. My brother's used it twice or three times this summer, so um, he's been keeping an eye on it. I'll fill it up with water, fill it up with diesel. And yeah, a few jobs to do on it here and there. Um, last, last year I was sailing with Ilva pretty much the whole summer. Well, winter, I guess. It's winter here. Summer for me, though. Ilva can't join me at the moment this year. She's probably going to come in August, but uh, so I'll be doing this solo for a bit. There's a few friends going to join me here and there, but I'll be solo solo sailing a lot. I've never done it before, um, so there's a few things on this boat that I'll need to change and adapt just to make it a bit easier to sail alone. Um, mostly the way the sail, sail handling. Um, I've got a pretty a 15 horse outboard back here for the dinghy. That's reasonably heavy. It's going to be a bit of a challenge to mount that myself. It's no problem getting the dinghy in the water by myself. It's a little problem putting the motor on by myself maybe. But I'm sure I can figure out some way, some sort of pulley system to lift it out. Maybe I have to figure it out that I can anchor a little better by myself. And uh, yeah, just boo, learning by doing I guess. I'm just going to take it pretty easy and uh, anyway, it doesn't really matter. Today's just about getting on board seeing, trying to re revisit everything that's on here, figure out everything and uh, I just went and got an Aussie SIM card and I got some money out of my bank and so my bank card still works, so that's good and uh, just going to charge everything up, make sure everything's, all the circuits and everything's still working and uh, just chill out, try and stay awake basically until evening and then I'll, I'll, if I have a good night's sleep tonight I'll try and stay awake till about 8 or 9 p.m. after dinner and then uh, have a good sleep. I don't normally get jet lag, so I should be sweet. And then tomorrow I'll start working on some some jobs and getting uh, getting everything ship shape, getting my ducks in a row, as they say, in somewhere. Well, I can't wait for this adventure to begin. I've got um, half of May, June, July, August, September, five months, possibly six, depending on photo shoots. Let the adventure begin. Nautilus learning by doing sailing 2016. Ew. Ready? Yeah.